Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Before we get started, make sure to hit that like button. Also subscribe to my channel. Introduction to personal finance, managing your money. So make sure to watch the full video. Introduction. Personal finance is a crucial aspect of our lives that impacts our financial well-being and overall quality of life. It involves managing your money wisely, making informed financial decisions, and working towards your financial goals. Whether you're just starting your journey toward financial independence or seeking to improve your current financial situation, understanding the principles of personal finance is essential. In this introduction, we will explore the fundamental concepts of personal finance, including budgeting, saving, investing, and managing debt. By gaining a better understanding of these topics, you can take control of your finances and build a solid foundation for a secure financial future. What is personal finance? The term personal finance includes financial management, including savings and investment. Finance includes business, insurance, loans, investments, retirement, taxes, and estate planning. The term generally refers to all businesses that provide financial services and advise individuals and families about money and investments, personal goals and aspirations, and plans to meet these needs within your financial constraints may also affect your approach to the above items. Financial literacy is essential to getting the most out of your income and savings. It will help you spot bad advice and make smart financial decisions. Areas of Personal Finance The five areas of personal finance are income, savings, consumption, investment, and security. Income Income is the beginning of personal finance. It is all the cash you receive and can be allocated for consumption, savings, investment, and protection. Income is all the money you bring in. This includes salaries, wages, dividends, and other sources of income. Expenses Expenses are income that is usually a large amount of income. Spending is anything a person buys with income. This includes rent, mortgage payments, groceries, jobs, meals, home remodeling, home repairs, travel, and entertainment. Managing expenses is an important part of personal finance. Individuals must ensure that their expenses are less than their income, otherwise, they will not have enough money to pay their debts or they will be in debt. Debt can be a financial disaster, especially if the credit card charges high interest rates. Savings Savings are income after spending. Everyone must have savings to pay for large or urgent expenses. However, that means not spending all of your income, which can be difficult. However, everyone should try to save at least some money to cover changes in income and expenses, about 3 to 12 months worth of expenses. In addition, the cash sitting in the savings bank will be wasted as it loses its power over time due to inflation. Instead, cash not used for emergencies or expenses should be invested in things that help maintain value or grow, such as investments. Investments Investments involve the purchase of assets, primarily stocks and bonds, for a return on investment. The point of investing is that a person has more money than invested. Investing involves risk because not all assets appreciate and may result in losses. It can be difficult for those without investment experience. It helps to take the time to understand investing by reading and studying. If you don't have the time, it may be helpful to hire a professional to help you invest. Protection Protection is a way for people to protect themselves from unexpected events, such as illness or accident and save money. Protection includes life and health insurance, as well as estate and retirement planning. How to manage your money 5. Let go of your belief in money According to personal finance writer Annalise Wealth, the first step to wealth is believing you deserve it. In her article, How to Build Wealth When You Have No Money, she writes that developing a money mindset is crucial. 
It means believing that you can achieve and deserve wealth, even though the system is designed to prevent you from achieving it. Without this emotion, other strategies are ineffective," he explained. Building a financial mindset starts with consciously reminding yourself of the wealth and possibilities around you. Wealth advice is to tell yourself every day that you are worthy of wealth. Start by noticing your negative thoughts about money and replace them with more positive ones. You will also learn how to get rich and change the habits that support your growth. When you do this, you will be able to clearly and confidently apply for a job, negotiate a salary or raise, or ask what you think you deserve at work. 4. Manage your money We all face unexpected and costly situations in our lives. So how do we have financial security when this happens? In How I Have Financial Hope in an Emergency, author Alex Hemmer shares some tips to help him better manage his money. Call someone you trust. It could be a family member, lover, or friend. Even if the person doesn't directly voice your problems. Talking about your frustrations can help you understand your feelings and form a perspective. Prepare to pay. Depending on the price, check if you can pay the full amount up front or in small amounts over time. Understand that being financially literate doesn't mean you don't have debt. Instead, it's about learning to manage your spending, even if you're in debt along the way. 3. Always set a schedule for your financial goals Goals are easier to achieve when we set a realistic time frame. In her article, Dad, use this time to manage your finances, finance expert Bobby Ravel states, the more specific you want to be, the easier it will be to keep track of your goals. First, start by asking yourself if your schedule is realistic, given your current financial situation. If not, you can extend your time or find a way to earn more money, like a side job. To create an emergency fund. Author Kira Taylor says that one of the best ways to start saving is to set aside some money as an emergency fund for unexpected expenses. In her book, Five Easy Ways to Manage Your Finances, Taylor states that your emergency fund should be at least $1,000, especially if you're just starting to save or are still paying off debt. Taylor explains that an emergency fund can reduce financial stress. First, it provides a haven for your brain to keep you calm in stressful situations like major unemployment or a global recession. Second, if you're dealing with a personal emergency like a car repair or last-minute surgery, you're less likely to worry. Eventually, it will help you develop regular spending discipline and gain greater awareness of your financial situation. One creates different types of information. When we deposit money in a bank, it may lose value over time. Savings accounts have interest rates that are too low to keep up with inflation. To avoid this, financial expert Matthew Bloom recommends investing. In his article Investing Wisely, a beginner's guide, he writes, Investing allows you to keep up with the increase in the cost of living. The main benefit of long-term investment is growth through compounding or growth at best. How do you do business? Some examples include stocks, bonds, private equity, capital markets, precious metals, equities, and real estate. Diversification can help you manage risk by preventing all your money from being tied to one place. Bloom continued, a good certificate should contain several types of assets that do not change simultaneously, for example, stocks, bonds, etc. This reduces the lack of information but is not necessarily reversible. Outro By taking the time to learn about personal finance and applying the principles discussed in this introduction, you can make smarter financial choices and achieve your financial objectives. Remember, financial success is a journey, and it requires discipline, patience, and continuous learning. As you embark on this path to financial empowerment, always seek to improve your financial literacy and consult with financial professionals when needed.
With dedication and knowledge, you can shape a brighter financial future for yourself and your loved ones. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel before you go.